Warning, sensitive images. It doesn't really make sense that many of those countries I just mentioned, especially like Norway and uh, Iceland, they uh, have a lot of whale watching going on. So it doesn't make sense that you come and see a whale and afterwards you can find the whale meat in the restaurant. Berit Lugrong, vegetarian and path, the animal fund, part two of two. Please continue watching to find out more. The Ocean Family. Protect yourself and the planet by choosing plant-based. Dr. Neil Barnard, MD, vegan. Peace is happening around our world. Peace news number 37 of many and counting. There are many countries promoting peace and fostering amity among peoples and governments. etc. November 2023. Over 100 Russian doctors signed an open letter to Russia's president calling for the freeing of Alexandra Skotchilenko, a St. Petersburg artist and activist sentenced to seven years in prison for putting information opposing the war in Ukraine or Ukraine on supermarket price tags as a form of peaceful protest. By creating peace, we all can make a loving, serene, and prosperous world. The war doesn't give us any future. There's too many victims, too much sorrow, too much pain. Again, we must get to a res political resolution, to a new arrangement. We cannot continue to live like this. These people are basically not our enemies. has disgraced us. He has allowed our weapons to be used to kill the innocent in thousands. Joe Biden stopped funding genocide in my name. We have to see the faces of the children, the men and the women. There is no justification for hurting okay. unarmed people. There is no justification for hurting children. Chào quý khán giả tuyệt vời. That's how hello, marvelous viewers, is said in Aulak Seas, also known as Vietnamese, one of the languages spoken by the Stian people, who mostly live in Aulak, also known as Vietnam's Binh Phuc province and Cambodia. My name is Min Kai. The amiable Estienne celebrate your virtuous conduct and kind smile. Welcome to our show, Berit Lugron, vegetarian and Teff. 
the Animal Fund, part two of two. In part one of our show, we introduced Miss Legrand, the founder and president of the Animal Fund, a nonprofit organization established in 2015. CAF is officially registered in Monaco, France, Denmark, and Norway, and holds charitable status in the United Kingdom. The organization focuses on protecting the ocean, especially the precious dolphin communities and whale families who play a vital role in sustaining life on Earth. Each great whale individual absorbs an average of 33 metric tons of CO2 during their roughly 60-year lifetime. In comparison, a tree absorbs around 3% of this amount in the same period. Whale people store carbon in their bodies, and when they die, they carry this carbon to the ocean floor. Their waste feeds phytoplankton, which creates the oxygen necessary for us to live. Scientists state that about 50% of the world's oxygen comes from the ocean. Hence, it is vitally important that we preserve the sea and the animal beings within it. Part of Mitz Legrand's work involves making people aware that it is not acceptable to consume the flesh of whale folk, especially in countries where hunting our whale brothers and sisters is still legal. She now tells us where this brutality is still occurring. You have Faroe Island, and you have Norway, and you have Iceland, and uh, you have Greenland also still doing, and then you have Japan. So in my opinion, it is the, the people we need to talk to. And I have been in all those places I just mentioned, apart from Greenland, and I have talked to the people um, about why they do it and why they consume the whale meat and uh, listen to them because they don't know what role the whales are playing and they don't know exactly what impact it makes. So I think it's much, much more important to tell them, not just one times, two times, three times, but that really that they are being told on a global level in the countries where they are and that it's educated in the schools and people there are aware of it. From a tourism perspective, allowing individuals to hunt and kill innocent whale people is also highly illogical. It doesn't really make sense that many of those countries I just mentioned, especially like Norway and uh, Iceland, they uh, have a lot of whale watching going on. So it doesn't make sense that you come and see a whale and afterwards you can find the whale meat in the restaurant. This doesn't make sense and of course that has to be stopped and you cannot on one hand make a lot of money out of the whales by people wanting to see them and then the next day go out and kill them. They say it's all sustainable and there are enough whales but it's not the truth. The whales are not in the same numbers as before uh, because of all the pollution and the overfishing and all the fishing nets where they are trapped and so forth and the toxic in general. And now Norway decided that they want to harvest on the seabed. So they want to, you know, explode on the seabed to find minerals. And this in Norway is where the whales are feeding. This is not so good. Um, today, where you have so many alternatives, you don't need to kill whales. Norway is one of the richest countries in the world. It's a bit ridiculous. Uh, so, of course, we are also talking about that as a campaign.
Vegan side effect. You'll be booted out of bad company. Radiant viewers, we will pause for a moment to enjoy the warmth and happiness of the sunshine. Our show will return shortly. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Being vegan, having peace, doing good deeds. Life is a feast. Hero Diver's mission is to protect seal people from garbage. This diver is a hero named Michael. And tickling is the seal's way of saying, thanks, Michael, for cleaning up this mess. And that mess. And this mess. Because the ocean is supposed to be a trash-free zone. But people keep putting garbage in it. And they really need to cut it out. Because garbage like this plastic is dangerous for sea animals. Luckily, that's why Michael's here, scooping up trash before it can hurt his aquatic amigos. The more time Michael spent with his new friends, the more he loved how funny and playful they were. And the more he saw things like this. A seal tangled in a plastic bag. She needed help. Phew, good thing Michael was there. This is when he decided to make it his mission to always be on the lookout for things that don't belong in the water, like that plastic wrapper. Sometimes Michael wishes his friends were a little less curious, but just a little. Phew, finally, got it. Straight to the dump with this. And all of this, all that junk is from just one dive, which is why Michael keeps doing what he does diving over and over to keep this corner of the ocean clean and his friends safe so they can keep playing, tickling, and rolling below the waves. Roll on, seal. May you roll forever. Welcome back to our program, Berit. Lugron, Vegetarian, and Teff, The Animal Fund, Part 2 of 2. As we've discovered, Teff brings communities information about protecting our oceans and the life within, especially our whale and dolphin friends. Miss Lagrand spoke more about the dolphin people and how special they are. Dolphins, they also play a role, of course. Uh, they are small toothed whales, huh? so they also play a role. They have a different, you know, impact. They are joyful. They are they're here to make us happy. And they have always been here for humanity. Dolphin communities and other marine residents are very much negatively impacted by fishing. Nets, lines, and hooks trap our innocent sea friends who are often not able to detect them using their sight or sonar. Ghost nets are fishing nets that have been lost, abandoned, or otherwise been dumped as waste. The nylon or other plastic compounds that comprise them can last for centuries. As they degrade, they are a major source of dangerous microplastics. Ocean beings may consume these tiny plastic particles, thinking they are food, and become sickened. We also have campaigns about overfishing and ghost net, and the danger of that, and, and how much it's killing uh, the marine life. A country like France is actually killing uh, over 10,000 dolphins per year in the fishing net. Many leading scientists and politicians have stated that leading a vegan lifestyle is the biggest personal change that one can make to preserve our planet. Ms. Legrand reflects on the benefits of avoiding animal people meat consumption. We favor uh, a vegetarian and vegan lifestyle for sure, because I think we, the world must do that uh, in order to survive because our resources are running out. 
and uh, we cannot uh, keep on uh, ruin forest uh, to grow crops and uh, and uh, to have uh, cows feeding uh, we cannot keep on uh, overfishing our ocean there will be nothing left uh, so we need to give the ocean a break and we need to give uh, the forest a break supreme master ching hai Vegan has brought attention to the devastating impact that fishing has on sea animal residents and all ocean life. Over the decades, Master has spoken out about the terrible environmental consequences of this damaging activity. Not only is there overfishing and depleting of the marine life, but there's also side killing. You know, like uh, when the commercial longliners go fishing, they normally uh, target swordfish people, but then they're killing tens of thousands of sea turtles people, you know, by the way. And hundreds of thousands of sea bird people and millions of shark people every year. This accidental killing is about 25% extra of our global catch. Experts predicted that in, uh, in its uh, present pace, more and more species will vanish and the global marine ecosystem will collapse, possibly in mid-century. To stop this destructive practice of fishing, uh, the solution is a vegan diet. No fishy stuff in our meals. The sea offers us plenty of better food choices, wide varieties of super healthy and nutritious sea plants. We can even live on it forever. We must protect a living and healthy sea as it relates to our living and healthy self. I think we cannot live without the sea. The most powerful daily prayer for any time and before meditation, which is the order from God and Supreme Master Ching Hai shares with us by His Blessed Grace. We humbly worship, praise, thank, obey and love God Almighty, the Most High, the Greatest for World Vegan, World Peace, and our soul liberation. We thank, love, praise the only Son of God who is the ultimate master for our salvation. We follow the teaching of all the saints and sages. We thank, love and praise them who are the representatives of God for our spiritual elevation. At the end of our interview with Ms. Legrand, she expressed her appreciation to all of the volunteers at TAF and their dedication. They're fantastic. I love them all. They are so great and, uh, and we have a fantastic uh, time together. We laugh, we have fun because I don't want to have any events without having fun uh, because the topics are not so funny to talk about <laughs> so we need among ourselves to have a lot of uh, you know spirit and optimism and uh, this is what we have and they are great and uh, this gives me the biggest joy We admire Miss Legrand's work and the uplifting words she left us with. Never give up despite your size because we can all play a role 
each of us and give hope and stay optimistic. We extend our gratitude to Perit, Lucron, and everyone at the Animal Fund for helping to protect the oceans, our animal friends who live within the sea waters, and ultimately our planet. For more information about TAF, the Animal Fund, please visit theanimalfund.net, facebook.com forward slash TAF dot the Animal Fund 99, Instagram.com forward slash the dot animal dot fund. Vegan, God would be proud. Gentle viewers, it has been a pleasure to have your company on today's program. Coming up next is We Live in This World for the World, Part 4 of 6 on Between Master and Disciples. May all governments now quickly unite to promote the life-saving vegan diet to guard the lives of our innocent animal co-inhabitants in the seas. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash gpgw. برنامه های ما شامل زبان های بسیاری است. از این ویب سایت ها دیدن فرمایید suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule و suprememastertv.com forward slash gpgw. Also, be sure to follow us on our socials, YouTube, Facebook, Getter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Nico Nico, Pinterest, Reddit, Substack, Telegram, Threads, TikTok, Truth Social, Tumblr, VK, and X, previously known as Twitter, in multiple languages by searching Supreme Master TV.